welcome back to my channel to god blessing rg and if this is the first time here you're welcome and if you've been here before thank you for coming back so in this video i'll be taking you guys through my updated affordable small space filming setup so i'll be taking you guys through what goes on behind the scenes my equipment my audio my lighting just everything that goes on my editing software and all of that if you want to figure out how to go about your filming setup and all of that i mean let me show you guys what i did with my own filming space okay if you want to see that definitely keep on watching like this video subscribe to my channel and also turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video guys you don't want to miss out on any of my content period okay so yeah let's get right into this video so in this i will be sharing with you guys my setup for both youtube and also tiktok so the first thing i'll be talking about here is the camera i am currently using canon m50 mark ii and guys i absolutely love this camera i've been using this camera now for almost a year and i would say i am really really obsessed like no joke i like the fact that it is so beginner friendly and also i feel like you can also use it for like um as a professional this right here it is so so good it is easy to use it is easy to understand it has like a great quality i mean you guys can see what is given right here okay this camera has a flip out screen which makes it really easy for me to see myself like now that i'm filming i am watching myself right here and i'm seeing what i am doing like this right here has to be one of my favorite things about this camera because it makes it really easy for me to see what is going on when my lighting is changing so i can adjust it if i have to it just helps me see my battery life and whether my camera is recording or not imagine not having this i have to go back go to the back each time to just check that out i don't even want to imagine the stress that comes with that but this right here i can easily see what is going on if i did not mention this camera is a mirrorless camera this camera is set to film in 4k yes it does but i don't really use the 4k filming uh, mode not like i cannot use it i can i feel like i can make it work but i don't really find the need to do it because with that i also have to deal with you know internet and all of that i'm not about to you know juggle all of that here in nigeria i mean no we're not going to do that i like the fact that it is portable like it is so easy to carry around so for lens i still use the kit lens okay and this is the canon zoom lens ef m 15 to 45 is stm kit lens guys it's a mouthful this lens right here i would not say it is great but i feel like for beginners like it is really really good okay and it's also very portable like i legit love this like how tiny this lens is and to think that it still does the job i mean it's just i like the fact that i can also auto focus because sometimes we just want it to be very easy manual focusing can be a little stressful especially if you're into like makeup and all of that if you want to show your product on the screen and stuff like that it does not really make it easy for you but like with auto focus it can always focus on the product you're showing and also go back to like showing you it is just perfect and very easy to you with this lens i noticed that when i zoom in it gets darker and when i zoom out it just like normal brightness right and i set my iso always always between 200 to 800 depending on how bright or how dark my filming space is but yeah i feel like you should never ever ever exceed 800 because when you like increase your iso to like 1000 1600 you find that it gives this really noisy uh feel to the to the video and you really do not want that because it just makes it look like you're filming with a bad quality camera or something so definitely put that in mind i use the regular battery that it comes with i have not gotten any additional battery yet and honestly i have to say this the battery life for this camera is so amazing i think it can last up to two plus hours i guess or even more than that okay i'm just trying to keep it safe because i've not really like paid attention i've not really calculated the time so when it comes to tiktok most times i use my phone to film and i use the iphone 11 pro max guys honestly 
this is perfect i know there are other ones right now you can always go for that if that's what you have right but this is what i currently use and it's honestly honestly doing the job for me like genuinely i don't need to stress myself get using my camera sometimes i do use my camera but it's not like i have to it's just like when that's what i have at the moment i would just opt for that but outside of that i always use my phone my phone and it's really really good the quality is great like i mean iphone qualities are really really good i feel like you can easily compare the iphone quality to a lot of cameras like you can really compare it so the only thing is that you have to make sure you are filming with your back camera you can you can get away with filming with your front camera but you have to make sure that you're filming where you have a good light so moving on to audio guys when it comes to audio it is so 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 important for me to really pay attention to my audio right now i am still using my old mic which is the lavelia boya lavelia mic i would say the quality of this mic honestly it is perfect i don't think i have any issues with the mic okay and it is also very very affordable i like the fact that it is affordable and it gives you like a really good quality I actually have to i have the other one that has like two mics and i got that because like i intend to like have more guests on my channel and stuff like that and i honestly want you guys to be able to hear or speak okay so for my phone audio like i already said i use the iphone 11 pro max all i do is just to talk directly to my phone because when it comes to this phone audio it has a really really good audio internal mic okay it really really does well you don't have to get an external mic when it comes to your phone so moving on the next thing i'll be talking about here is lighting guys lighting has to be one of the most exciting things for me because i feel like lighting can make or break your video yes if you're filming in a low quality light honestly don't expect much okay but when you're filming with a really really good light i mean it gives what you expect okay period so right here in this filming space i have three windows yes but i have one right in front of me and i have another one by my side and i have a tiny little one right here i feel like i can really really get away with filming with just this windows okay i do that but i also have artificial lights is it artificial lights now yes i do have them i actually have to i have the ring light that i've been using for ages and i also have this led lights that i recently got last year this light right here i really really love it i really love it that's what i've been using for a while so most times what i do with my lighting is if i'm filming at night i kind of have my led light in front of me and i place my um ring light at the back that way it is also illuminates the background so when i'm filming during the day i like to use my windows okay and sometimes i add like this led light in front and that is it okay so the next thing i have right here is my setup so yeah my setup is very very simple like right in front of me i have my camera and i have my led light okay so for the tripod i am using is the same tripod i've been using since my first camera so that's what i've been using for the longest time even though it is not in the best shape but we are making it work at this point i have like two other tripods but most of them are for vlogs so it's like this really small um, tripod that you can just carry around and also i have the one that i use for my tiktok videos when i'm filming with my phone and i want it to have like something i can carry around and in front of the camera i have like my table right here with this table i use this table to place all the things i use to film my setup is really really simple and then i have this chair right here and also i have a fan right here i have a standing rechargeable fan which Oh my god it helps me a lot okay if you're in nigeria you know the struggle we all know the struggle that we go through right this right here has to be a lifesaver because imagine doing your makeup and you're all sweaty it is not fun it is not cute at all like it is not cute at all but with this fan right here i almost do not need to 
well i kind of still get stressed out okay but then it helps me a lot so moving on you guys i have my background for my background i didn't really do much with my background you guys can see i have a flower down there i also have this big light right here that is making everything look really really beautiful and i have a frame a vase and also a flower down there i also have a candle and also this um i'll say my name what's it called again oh, english i don't know but you guys can see that is what i have like right here i am not doing too much with this um setup i just want it to be simple and also very clean if you want to see how i transformed my filming space please check it out i'm going to link it up here guys genuinely I did that on a low budget so moving on to the editing software that I use I currently use the Wondershare Filmora this editing software it is not free you have to pay for it okay and I think like I said to you guys the last time that I had gotten it before then I but I got like the Windows version of it unknown to me that if like you have to get a Mac you would have to also get it in like get the Mac version of it but someone in that comments actually thank you very much okay thank you so much you helped me a lot told me that I can like reach out to them and tell them like my concerns and all of that and they are going to help me out so I did that and they gave me like a huge discount okay and it made it very easy for me to repurchase it so at the end of the day I didn't pay full price so that is what I am currently using right now so guys we have come to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think about my filming setup and also if you have any questions if there's anything you want to know definitely ask me feel free to ask me in the comment section below make sure to like this video please if you did enjoy it like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and also turn on your post notification so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and yeah guys i'll see you all in my next one bye looking on my back and you are still the same